Well, pressure continues on Sarasota School Board member Bridget Ziegler to resign. Ziegler is involved in a very public scandal involving allegations of three-way sex between her, her husband, who is the former chair of the state Republican Party, and a still unidentified woman. Mrs. Ziegler has been a proponent of so-called family values in public. Her opponents call her a hypocrite. And they've been showing up for months now at school board meetings, calling on her to resign. This week, the newly formed School Sanity Project sent a mobile truck with Mrs. Ziegler's image on the side to the Sarasota County School Board meeting. There is a storm coming to Sarasota against Bridget Ziegler. There are so many people who clearly see the harms that she is doing. And there are so many people on the Republican side of the issue and on the Democrat side of the issue who want her gone. And so the motivation is there. The widespread desire for Bridget Ziegler to be gone is there. And now there's the support. While most of the public comment at the school board in the past several months has been calling on Ziegler to step down, she does have some supporters who say she is being unfairly pressured. It then dawned on me that the majority of the audience is actually bullying you. The truth is you have conservative views. Could that be the real issue here? I believe so. So, Gene, Mrs. Ziegler said earlier this month at the school board meeting, she said much of the conversation that's come up at the public comment section, I will never address in these chambers. She said, because it has nothing to do with my role as a board member. So does her, what she's done in private, allegedly, does it affect her role as a school board member? No. No, I think that as that elected person, I don't think it changes anything. But I do think she should resign. I think she should resign because, uh, not for being a hypocrite, because we wouldn't have any politicians left if uh, people resigned for, <laughs> for being hypocrites, but for being so disingenuous to the base who voted for her. Uh, the gentleman said that uh, they're going after her because she's conservative, but, you know, marketing that brand of being conservative and pious and living that other life, she's not being... Uh, being honest with the people who voted for her, and I think that, they, that she owes them better than that. Alan, the pressure continues. Every time there's a school board meeting, a lot of people come out calling her to resign. She does have some supporters, but the, the opponents vastly outnumber her supporters. Well, you know, I don't take any joy in this because Bridget and Christian were frequent guests on my show on ABC7 in, in, in Sarasota, so I, I know both of them well, but they created this brand as social uh, social issue warriors. And uh, in the process, they destroyed a lot of lives of young people at their most vulnerable moments while they themselves were being uh, hypocrites. And so I, I know the Trump playbook is you don't apologize, you don't back down. Uh, and I, I know that they don't really care that uh, all those people who are attending those meetings do believe that they are uh, hypocrites. Having said that, she should resign. Okay, Janelle, what do you think of this? You know, I, I think that the hypocrisy side of this is really the crux of the entire argument. Um, I agree with Jean, but I also think, uh, you know, as Alan said, there are so many young children who have questions about their sexuality or their gender identity. And, uh, you know, things like looking for books that are about penguins or a shadow, um, you know, these are things that help those children navigate those questions that psychologists will tell you are very real questions that actually happen. So the fact that they have scaled that back and removed access to those sorts of things for those children who are facing these really difficult life questions. And then at the same time, their private life reflects the things that they're standing against. I, you just, you can't maintain your position after that, in my opinion. Mike, she was a founder of Moms for Liberty. The governor has backed the group uh, statewide. A lot of people from Moms for Liberty are running for school boards this year. How do you think it affects the credibility of Moms for Liberty in the school board races that are coming up? Oh, it definitely affects it. Uh, and of course, it can be used by that person's opponent, uh, definitely, probably very well. Uh, bottom line, it, 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 it's hypocrisy. It's, um, I will take, I'll tell you, though, that the Republican Party took action almost immediately by removing Christian. Chair, Christ, yeah. a, as, as chairman of the party. So mm -hmm. I, I, I think that was a great start. Again, it's up to her to resign, but if she doesn't, hopefully the people will voice their, their, their opinion at the polls when she comes up for re-election. Okay.